In the next example, we will see a program that consume a service with get method and return JSON object. For this lesson, you are advised to refer to the classes as stated on the screen. In this example, the REST client app is invoking a service get teacher using HTTP. When the web service sees this address, it will find the mapping URI declared in teacher service in REST provider and execute a method named getFixedTeacher. This method returns an object of JSON that represents a teacher's data. In getFixedTeacher, we append target service to the base URI using a method named path. Our target service here, for example, is get teacher. This method here returns an object from web target. Here we reuse the same object that we have instantiated earlier. Then we execute the command to request for the service. Here we use get method to execute HTTP get and telling the provider to receive JSON object. In this line here, it returns JSON object. We extract the object using read entity, okay, which is a method, and assign it to a string variable. For example here, we, our stringified JSON object is stored in a string variable named JSON string. Let's say we want to convert our JSON object that is in string format into our own object. We need to parse it using object mapper. First, we create an object of object mapper. Then, we invoke read value method via the mapper, specify our JSON string, and the class to be mapped. In this example, this method will be map the data from the JSON to our teacher.class. Finally, at the end of this method, we manipulate the teacher object to display the ID and the name. I'm going to show the demonstration to call for the second web service, which is through the method of fix, get fixed teacher. So, comment this out and uncomment this and it needs to be called within try and catch block and save it. And we are still calling from this particular web service here, from this particular address and we pass it to the get fixed teacher. So, base your eye. And let's have a look this method and it will get it will execute get teacher and the rest of it the rest of the implementation implementation similar to what we have seen previously okay let's run this application So this is the second output from calling this particular method which invoke get teacher. So it returns uh, the format in terms of JSON format and this is how it looks like and we can retrieve the teacher ID and as well as the name of the teacher. So it is done here.